Years ago, I made a commitment that during the winter months, instead of avoiding winter and the depth that it provides, that I would go into the darkness, that I would go into the depth. And I read some spiritual literature. Some of it was, uh, one of them was Milton's Paradise Lost, for example. And then I read Dante's Inferno. Dante Alighieri in the 15th century wrote this great book, which really is called Dante's Hell, is what it is. Inferno in Italian means hell. And the story is about a man in a midlife crisis. It's a crisis that many of us have faced. In fact, it starts out midway through the journey of our life. I found that I was on a darksome wood. The right road lost, vanished in the maze, full of confusion. The person I was supposed to become is over here. The person I have become is over here, and I don't want to be this guy. I want to be that guy. And so he has to go through hell. And the power of this great piece of literature are the people that are outside of the gates of hell. These are the people that hell wouldn't have and heaven doesn't want. And they're called shades. They're not fully formed people, they're shades of people. What Dante called the uncommitted these are the people who never took a stand in life. They never stood for anything in those moments when a stand was called for. And what's their punishment? He gives what's called a contrapasso punishment. They have to do the thing in eternity, in hell, what they had done in life. And because they never took a stand in life, they have to march through eternity following a banner. And you know what it says on the banner? Nothing. Because they stood for nothing in life, they're going to march through eternity following a banner that stands for nothing. And oh yeah, by the way, they're getting stung by wasps as that's happening. It was a powerful message because it made me think and reflect on, do I take a stand? When I see some injustice, what's on my flag? What do I stand for? And what do I stand against? And my encouragement to you would be to reflect on that same question. Do you take a stand? Are you committed or are you a shade? Are you an uncommitted? What's on your flag and what might you need to put on your flag?